Hi all, I just wanted to show you my SMS remote sockets. A while back I uh, got some of these Watts Clever remote sockets. Uh, they come in a pack of three. Uh, you can buy them singly and they come with a remote that lets you turn them on and off. Um, I noticed that the remote is a 433 MHz transmitter. I think it's the HS1527 chipset. But um, the main thing was I found a library online that lets you use a regular um, ASK433 transmitter. They're about uh, 2 or $3 on eBay. It lets you use one of those to emulate the HS1527. Uh, these are a learning socket, so they can actually learn uh, from all kinds of uh, 433 signals. But uh, the main thing here is I've... I've um, got myself an SMS uh, modem shield and that um, can take text messages and pass them out through the serial port to the Arduino um, and so I'm able to send commands that um, the Arduino can interpret and then uh, send out the correct signals uh, to emulate one of these what's clever remotes. So basically I'm able to turn things on and off uh, remotely uh, from anywhere with my phone and uh, if I just happen to have left a server on or a server off or I want to turn a PC on so I can remote in and uh, take a look at something um, I can do it via the phone and th the good thing is that the remotes can be uh, sorry the the uh, these receivers can be stacked anywhere around the house and um, they've got their isolation built in and so forth uh, so you don't sort of have to worry about that so I'll just give you an example I'll uh, turn the server on which would be this remote um, you can set up the commands however you want. I like to preface it with a exclamation mark. So we'll just send that and wait. Sometimes it can take a while. It really depends on the network. Ah, there we go. That's on. And I'll show you how I can turn it off. Now, these uh, come in a pack of three. And uh, therefore, you can sort of have three commands. But in actuality... These can learn a whole bunch of signals on the remote, and there you go, it's, it's gone off. Uh, can learn a whole bunch of signals from any kind of remote. And uh, I've bought uh, six so far, I think, um, and they came with two different remotes, and any one of them can learn any of the other remotes. So basically, you could control kind of as many as you wanted. So um, that's just a quick demo of how it works. Um, the sim, the sim shield, somewhere between thirty and forty dollars. These are somewhere between thirty and fifty. So they're the two prime costs. The Arduino is probably about ten or fifteen dollars, and uh, this is like I said, two dollars. Now the sim card, I was able to get one in Australia uh, for five dollars, which has uh, three hundred sixty-five days access and five dollars worth of credit as well for uh 12 cents an sms and that's on the telstra network now when you're sending it commands you're not actually uh, using up any of that sms you're just looking for the uh, network access really and um it's an interesting project um it, it tops out at about 105 dollars at the at the most expensive and it allows you to remote control sort of up to three sockets and then beyond that it's up to you as many as you like now you could probably use a system like this for all kinds of things you know load shedding in the house and um you know the ability to turn stuff on and off uh, no matter where you are um, i use it personally to get into a file server and uh probably i may use it down the track for my amateur radio systems okay i hope you enjoyed this video and just uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, you can still freely use the uh, hand remote and, as well. Uh, so it's actually a very good system. Um, the, the RC switch uh, library allows you to actually learn these remotes. Uh, so that makes it very easy to copy a system you already have. Um, if you want any other information, I have the code up on GitHub and uh, there's a few photos there as well.